Hey guys, Ray from LoveYourRV.com. So, I just spent a few days camped along the Salton Sea in California. My voice sounds different. I've uh, got kind of a crappy cold, so I'm a bit stuffed up. So we kind of just hunkered down here. There was a rainstorm coming through. It was a pretty good place. Ten bucks a night dry camping. But now we're doing sort of the, the crappy side. you got to get rid of your uh, your crap and refill. So this is the the dump station at the the Salton Sea State Recreational Area. So if you pay for uh, for the the dry camping, you also get a free dump. So that's what I'm doing. Just dumped. Now I'm filling up the the water using my uh, my uh, water filters that I installed last year. So what I wanted to show you is I'm doing a test with that uh, Halo View backup camera system. They sent me out the extension uh, cable. And a, and a mounting plate. You can see it. I got it mounted actually up on my my WineGuard uh, Wi-Fi booster system there. I don't have the Wi-Fi booster turned on because that would cause interface interference. But it seemed to be the highest point on the rig, so it's mounted there. And then there's a 16-foot cable that goes back to where the the backup camera is. Now I haven't had any problems with signal dropout or anything, but my rig's only 30 feet long. So this is supposed to help people have longer rigs or if they're having interference they can put this extension in. So I'm just going to give it a test. We're driving from here over towards Yuma. We're going to do some more boondocking. So I'll, I'll give it a test as we drive over there. And then I'll, when, I'm, when I'm set up there, maybe I'll do a few distance tests for you. It's kind of some experiments to see, see how much longer um, of signal it'll give you. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you that. <sighs> Looks like the rain's come through. It's starting to clear up a bit. Back end of the front, a little windy. Looks like it's going to get up around 68 deg degrees today. And we've got some sunny days on the horizon, so that's always good. I love these big palms. It's kind of a nice spot, this little uh, Salt and Sea Recreation Area. Sometimes the sea smells. But this is the main campground. They have full hookups here for I think around 30 bucks. Anyway, time to hit the road. Well, about a hundred mile trip with the, the new extension antenna and frankly I didn't notice much of a difference. Um, as, a, as before it was around two to three bars out of four for me. Um, maybe the, the footage was a little bit uh, less uh, jittery at high speed but frankly it was hard to tell. So I'm trying to do some tests here while I'm boondocking and try to get some idea of the the range difference and uh, so I've hooked it back up to the, the the camera's antenna and I took a walk just to try to see where I would lose signal and I walked and I walked and I walked and I got way down I must have been down almost by that other RV way down there and I still had you know I got down to just having the one bar but it was still a clear signal, so it was a pretty good range. <laughs> Hard to test. So what I'm going to do is maybe I'll get in the truck where I have some metal around me. And I'll drive the truck until I lose uh, lose range of the, the the original antenna, and then we'll switch to the the big antenna, the extension antenna there that I have mounted right on the top, and we'll see if it uh, increases the range any. Okay, so we're right beside the camper here, and you can see we have uh, three bars, and that's pretty normal. 
and I'm hooked on to the original camera antenna, not the extension antenna. So we'll go for a drive until we can see if we can get rid of this uh, signal altogether. Okay, so I've driven until I completely lost signal, and it took quite the drive. Let me show you. There we go. So you can see the cougar way back there. So I had good signal all the way. So way down here. So they quote 300 yards, or 300 meters, and I'd say that's pretty dang close. So I'll mark this spot, and I'll go attach the extension with the larger antenna and see what, what change it makes. Okay, well the range has definitely improved. I'm way the heck down here. Still got a picture. Seems like I'm almost twice as far. I'm running out of uh, real estate. Keep going until it blacks out and I'll give you a, a look at how far away I am from the camper. Okay, I'm not completely blacked out, but I had a few blackouts right here. I think this is definitely far enough to give you a good demo. Okay. So, in the previous blackout, I was about as far away as that fifth wheel there. Just zoom back into where our uh, cougar is. I'd say I'm like almost twice as far as with the, the original antenna. There we are right there. So yeah, that uh, extender really does extend the signal range. This proves it. So obviously I don't have a lot of uh, background noise or anything out here. There's no hydro lines. I'm not in the city. But it kind of gives you an indication that it does work. the difference in antenna size. This is the original antenna that uh, sits on the camera. You screw into the camera. You can see this is the extension antenna. So you can see it's quite a bit bigger. And just give you a, a look at where I was. So that's the fifth wheel over there. So about even with that was where I lost the small antenna. And then the big antenna, I was way down there, almost to the exit of this thing, almost getting towards that fifth wheel, way down there, so about twice as far. So they sent me two different accessories. One is a magnetic mount, so it's like a magnet, so if you stick it on uh, any metal, it sticks to it. And that you can actually mount the camera on there. So if you had, say, a, a metal RV, you could stick that on and then um, screw the, the camera mount on there. Or, like mine, I could stick that somewhere. You know, I just taped it down for the test, but you could uh, goop it down with some die core or something. And then this is magnetic, so it sticks to 
sticks to that and so also because this is magnetic I guess you could use it another way you could put it outside the vehicle say on the roof and then run in this cable and attach it there so effectively that would uh, put your signal outside of the the metal box that is the truck so you'd probably improve the signal that way so there's a few different ways you could do it really the the point of it is if if you have a problem say your RV is made out of metal like I guess on an Airstream it could it could be a problem you know they're all aluminum so you'd be blocking a lot of signal or if you have a lot of metal in your roof and you put the camera at the back or say you put the camera like I have mine at the very back of the roof so it's still above the roof line if you were to take that camera and mount it down low say right at the back above the window or down by the bumper or something you'd have a lot more uh, um, stuff between between the two things so you'd be blocking a lot more signal so that would help because you could mount the camera down then run the line up and have the the antenna up on the roof where you get a, a clear path yeah there we go having that outside has improved the signal a bit it's now popping up to four bars there full signal so that works too anyway until next time Ray from loveyrv.com it's gonna relax out here in the desert for a while I have a couple more reviews to do um, company that I uh, I bought a um, heater from they saw my review and decided to send me out a couple of their other products that are really cool so stay tuned for that cheers folks <laughs>